Yeah, I have the, I have the great opportunity in presenting the winner of the Gordon Coventry Award. Uh, the player receiving this award works harder than any bloke that I've ever seen before. Um, as much as we've all seen him take amazing marks and kick spectacular goals, it's the work that he does without the ball, the pressure on the opposition that we all uh, rate the most at the club. Um, <coughs> sorry. After a 12-month layoff, the bloke comes straight back into the side like he hadn't missed a beat, done everything that, he'd, everything that he's been asked, and it's uh, with my great honour that the uh, Gordon Coventry Award goes to Jamie Elliott. Yeah, so obviously an amazing achievement, mate. Like I said, 12 months off, come back, 34 goals in, I think it was 17 games, um, heavily contributed to the side. Um, just talk us through what the last 12 months has meant to you. Um, it's, it's been tough, especially, I'll, I'll touch on last year a little bit, but um, to be able to play footy again, let alone be up here and accept an award. Uh, yeah, it was tough sitting on the sidelines last year. I didn't know. There was a lot of unknown. I didn't know whether I was going to play footy again. Um, I had a lot of people saying that went through back experience that, that spoke to me about what they've been through and um, how, I suppose, they can't function day-to-day -day life. And then that was in the back of my head. Um, so to be able to play again, um, let alone be up here, it's, um, it's amazing to be instead of watching my teammates play, uh, to be able to contribute in some sort of way on the field. Um, it's, it's just such a good feeling. And to be, what I dreamt about when I was six years old and now uh, two years ago playing AFL and then it taken away from me in a way, um, it kind of gave me another perspective on, on footy. Um, and I'm just so grateful to be able to play again, let alone play with my teammates. So that's what it means. Yeah, mate. Um, although you pretty much answered a little bit of that, um, can you give us just like a little insight into the individual prep that you now have to take after what you've suffered over the last 12, maybe 24 months that's inhibited your AFL career? Just give us a little insight about how you have to go about it week to week to get yourself up to be able to perform the way you do. Um, it, I kind of try not to take it too serious. I don't like it con consuming my my body, my mind, 24-7, um, which I find it does most of the time, but I try and escape that. Uh, but um, leading into games throughout the week, um, I try and just keep my back loose. I try and look after everything that I can control so I'm not at risk during game, during um, training, whatever I'm doing. Um, coming back from it, I was, I was pretty scared to do anything to push myself um, in any way. Uh, but now I've got, I've got that confidence to be able to, I suppose, get over that, the red zone of training. Um, I can push my body. I feel like I'm, I'm back to where I was. Uh, so that doubt's kind of gone. Um, but I suppose this year, I've, with the ankle injuries, it, it kind of, I suppose, I didn't even think about my back at times. So in a way, it was a blessing in disguise. But um, each, way, uh, each day, I deal with it. Um, but it's more about just keeping it loose. I work closely with Paula at the club, who at the beginning of my back injury, she, um, she worked really close with me during rehab. Um, she was a really positive person, kept me out of being a really negative person, thinking the worst. Um, so I owe a lot of credit to her, uh, the physios, the docs. Um, without them, I wouldn't, I, would, I wouldn't be here today, uh, even accepting this award. So. Um, there's a lot of prep, a lot of stuff that I do before games and training, but I try and keep it as simple as I can, not complicate it, and what, each week I try and just keep to the same thing and not add too many things. 
Beautiful. And I guess uh, all the difficult times, all the difficult times that you have been through, one thing that hasn't changed, you love your travel. Can you just give us a quick update on uh, pre-Copeland travels? Um, what do you want to know about? <laughs> Where'd you go? Favourite story? Who'd you go with? Any stitch-ups? Anything? <laughs> uh, I'll just say who I went with. I went with Darcy and my brother. Um, I met Brody over there as well. Um, and I went to, I think, seven countries in four weeks. Um, I won't talk about any stories. I'll leave that to the imagination, but um, I enjoyed myself. It was good. Beautiful. Well, uh, anyway, it's a credit to yourself, mate, the way you've come back and uh, the way you've contributed to the side. So the Gordon Country Award, Jamie Elliott.